welcome back. I'm in my bedroom. We're rearranging the bedroom tomorrow. So I'm in here. I'm gonna prepare the wall behind me. It's a gallery wall. I'm really excited to change some things up in here. We're gonna put the bed against this wall. Right now it's under the window, which is fine. Like there's really only two places the bed can go in here. But I'm so excited. We're gonna go in like a more minimal direction. You'll see. But we got some sconces. We're gonna move the dresser. I got this really cool waterfall desk that I'm finally gonna put in the place that we envisioned it in. And I'll be able to work better in here because Cody's desk is in the dining room and we just need our separate spaces. I work better in like kind of a closed off environment with less distractions. He works better out there looking out the window. So it really does work for us, but I'm very excited to set it all up play around with the colors it's just gonna be a little bit different so first I'm gonna take this gallery wall behind me down I don't know what I'm gonna do with those prints and frames probably just shove them in the front closet like all of our other extra decor but I'm gonna take them down I gotta take the nails out and then spackle those and then paint over those just so that we have a nice fresh wall behind the bed and then we have a stunning piece of art that's gonna go above the bed and just kind of be minimal and really nice so I'm gonna set up for that Wish me luck. It's probably going to be really dusty, which is annoying because this room gathers so much dust and I literally just dusted and cleaned it deeply on, what day is that? Sunday. So, all right, let's get started. Before I officially start, I have gathered all of the stuff we need to complete this bedroom refresh. <laughs> it looks like a lot. There's some things in here that shouldn't be in this pile, but we have this chair that is going to be my desk chair. We have a bunch of packages that contain curtains, bamboo blinds, um, organization, front of the bed, cord covers, all that. This is said artwork. I will show you a little bit later, but it's stunning. We got it at an antique shop. I'm excited. This pile is going to be gone shortly. That's already a fail because Cody is out running errands and the toolbox is in the car because we were working on stuff yesterday at our client's house. So I guess I'm simply just taking down the posters and frames. Cool. I gotta wait till we have a screwdriver and a hammer in the house. Great, great, great. Okay, well, I'm gonna get some work done and hopefully I can come back and do this before it's dark out. Otherwise, I might just have to have really bad lighting when I'm doing this project, so stay tuned. It's the next day. Here's a little update of what I did. Took down all the nails, tried to get all the drywall sinkers out as best as I could. Now I'm gonna go in with the spackle, cover these up. Once it dries, I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess and then I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this paint over to cover up the little marks. And while that's drying, I'll start doing the other ones. All right, that was pretty successful. These are all the holes we had on the wall. Patched up with spackle. I wiped off some of the excess just so I don't have to paint as much over it. Now, while that dries, which should take like 30 minutes, I'm gonna take these off and patch those the same so that while I paint these, those can dry with the spackle and I should be making pretty good time. I'm also gonna take this print off. This mirror's gonna stay the light is decent there's really no other spot for good light because the sun's coming from that way so this is gonna stay but that's gonna go so I'll patch those holes as well let's go Thank you. Oh, God. 
really gonna need to wash the walls in here. It's astonishing. Here comes Cody correcting my work, per usual. So I'm switching over to a voiceover here. This is when we got into the nitty gritty of just moving everything around. I started by taking down the old curtains and dusting and vacuuming the rods and man, they were not cute. Our bedroom collects so much dust, it's actually crazy. These old curtains are the white Ikea Lenda curtains and we're actually switching them to the same ones but in beige, we love them. They're really inexpensive and they have like a nice linen-esque look and feel to them. The next main task was to move the bed. <laughs> a little backstory about our bed frame. Cody actually built it back in 2018, I think. We really wanted a platform bed, but couldn't afford one at the time. So he literally just went to Home Depot, came back with like $175 worth of wood cuts and built it on our back patio. It's so simple it's held up really well. The only drawback is that it's so heavy. And with our mattress on top, it makes it really hard to move, let alone like put a rug under it. So I honestly cut out all the clips of us putting in our rug because we were unwell <laughs> it was so hard but anyway then we brought our nightstands in i did give those a good clean and vacuum once the positioning of all that was settled we installed the new bamboo roman shades from amazon we have these in our dining room and kitchen and they're just the best you just pull them down and push them up so easily we actually had bamboo blinds in here before from like jc penny that were beyond broken so it was time to replace them also thought i'd add we have an inner layer of sheer white curtains on these windows and it's nice to have all the different layers like for privacy and styling and stuff and we just love how all the layers look together. Next we brought in my desk which is actually a console table. It's gonna work great in here. I really do love the color of it. However, I'm starting to realize that the blue paired with the walls in here is kind of unintentionally giving Fisher Price dollhouse vibes. <laughs> if you were a kid in the 90s, I think you're gonna know what I mean. Comment down below if you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, it's all coming together. Love how the light is hitting onto different objects in here now. And all we have to do is hang the art and install the lights. We found this gorgeous piece of art in an antique shop in Altadena. It's so pretty. It reminds us of like the hills of Italy or something, but kind of also reminds us of Silver Lake, which is really cool. And we love the bright, vibrant colors in it. We thought it would look really nice in the bedroom, so we're gonna put it right above our bed and keep it really minimal, just this art above our bed. Does that look great? Like, Do you want to come lay down and just make sure? Like, is it annoying? Is it bothering you? You can see. No. Now go a bit lower. I almost think we need to split the difference. We need to have. I think that. The middle. Yeah. Both. Both work. Yeah. Why don't we? Pause everything and like look at some reference photos. Yeah, cool. You're right. You're always right. The male urge to put a screw in your mouth, you know? Mm hmm. Same as the toothpick. Yes. Evolutionarily, y'all wants to put like a lot of sticks in your mouth or something. You know, kind of like dogs. To are. curb your hunger. I chewed on rocks. <laughs> to curb your hunger when you were yeah. scavenging. Mm hmm. Why we like smoked things so much? Probably like, ooh, this wood, oh, that that's, wood smoke. Oh, that's interesting about smoking. When I tell you, I literally just picked up the camera to film. Our back deck is being rebuilt right now, which is really exciting, but they're on day two of building it and obviously it's very loud. So of course, I finally cleaned up the room, got it all ready to film the after shots and 
literally the second I pick up the camera, they're back from their lunch break sawing stuff. So um, hopefully I can get through this. Otherwise, we'll see. But I'm going to show you guys our updated room. Here it is, you guys. It looks so good. It's been about two weeks since we did it. I wanted to give you like a little bedroom tour since it's updated. The main thing that held us back from initially even doing this layout in here was this door. So our nightstands are really wide. They're vintage and they're really solid, which is great. And they have so much storage. And we weren't ready to give that up because there's not a lot of storage in this house, especially in this bedroom. So our one sacrifice was that this door can only open that far. It allows us to get in and out with like our hamper, but we just got to remember not to like fling the door open <laughs> or else it'll hit and be really loud. You walk in, Got our nightstand set up. The lamps are so good. I'm obsessed. They they swivel like this. If you want to read, well, they turn. They turn. They tilt. So cool. Cody synced them up to some smart bulbs. So we can just tell Alexa to turn them on, turn them off, control it from our phone. And then we also have colors on them. So if we want to like put red light on at night, it's awesome. Um, this plant actually I put in here for styling. It's doing so well. I think this is a prayer plant i'm gonna like double check that see the drilling is starting sorry if you can hear that it's just doing so well right here so i don't think we can move it it looks so good this planter is from world market too i love it it's kind of like has a lavender hue mixed with the terracotta i think it looks so good in here and then we thrifted this coffee table table book a while back and i think it just like goes so well in here now country houses of majorca it's a tashen book so I don't know, I just love displaying that in here. It just fits the vibe. Our art is looking stunning and vibrant. So the bedding we went with this week <laughs> was kind of just a mix. We have like these patterned sheets and then like a light pink linen layer and then this is a white linen duvet. And then this is actually really inexpensive throw blanket from Ikea. It's very like textured, ties into the accent color on the pattern sheets. Over here, this nightstand, we have our humidifier, it's off right now, but this thing is necessary. Living in LA, it's so dry here. I think this plus the air purifier sets us up for success. We got this like bougie tray for our remotes to keep them nice and organized. And then just some more trinkets over here, my book clip, you know. Moving on to our dresser. We kept this mirror here. This is from Target. It's like the OG circle mirror. We have all of our jewelry, perfume, cologne, a couple candles. Pretty simple. Hi, Zola. Hey. You want to come up? Up, up. Oh, yeah. Lay down on the blanket, please. Thank you. Good girl. Zola's bed remains in the same spot. Love it. Her little blanket that she always casts aside. She hates that thing, but... I don't know where else to put it. AC going strong. <laughs> Tell me why this was originally lodged down there and got, or no, it was between the two panels. It's like somehow there now. We're never gonna be able to get it. It's such an eyesore. Our birds of paradise is thriving. Cody's plan worked. <laughs> it's doing well in here. I think it looks very good. It kind of adds to that vacation oasis vibe feels kind of like we're in a villa or something. We love it. We also got those bamboo shades, Roman shades. You just pull them down. It's super easy. Our plants over here are doing well. The disco ball one doesn't really have a place in our house. We kind of just move it around every day. Every few days as we see fit to catch some light. <laughs> our full length mirror is still doing its thing right here. We added our propagation planters on this wall. Please ignore my horrendous spacing we ran into an issue right here um i have to patch that it just would not go in so we had to move it over and now it's off center but whatever here is my little desk so far so good i need to find a home for my laptop case but i think it looks pretty good from this angle not so much at the moment i forgot to get cord covers the air purifier lives over here that thing is awesome i love the size of it i love like just the functionality of it and we need it in this bedroom because there's so much dog hair. It gets so dusty. So it's just like really satisfying to turn it on. And it kind of creates a little like fan breeze, which is nice, especially while you're working next to your desk so you don't get hot. But I'm going to work on my desk a little more. 
I don't think that lamp is gonna live there forever. In a dream world, we would get an iMac. I edit a lot and do a lot of stuff, creative stuff on the computer, and I would love an iMac so I could like look straight ahead and just really get, really dive in. But it's just not in the budget right this second. So we're gonna wait a little bit on that, but I think it would look really good there. And then maybe like this Ikea rolly thing is really nice, it fits under there perfectly, and it is very functional, but maybe I can find one that's a little prettier. And then the chair, the chair is so comfortable, I feel supported. It's like the perfect amount of room to slide it out, it doesn't hit the rug ever. We're loving it. Oh, Cody got me this for Valentine's Day. It's like a little clay oven, but it matches the walls perfectly in here. And he's like, every time he sees it, he wishes he bought one for his desk because he loves it. We also have our hamper living under this window, which is kind of nice because it doesn't come over the window sill. It's kind of an eyesore, but for now it works. It's there. We can, you know, easily throw our clothes in there and then it's two-sided. And then that's kind of like our dumping ground. Before I moved my desk in here, I was like, this cannot be a dumping ground. You cannot put your clothes on my desk. You just can't. You gotta respect, respect my office. One more thing is this wall we intentionally left blank because we can still put our projector up onto here. Um, it's in the hallway right now. It's on a tripod. But we just like set it up right here, projects on, and it's no big deal. It works fine on the colored walls, and then we could like take it out of the room as we see fit. Right, Zola? <laughs> okay. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching our bedroom refresh. Let us know what you guys think. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments. My dog is acting insane right now because I'm talking to the camera and she's confused. Please subscribe to our channel. It would help us out a lot. Follow us on IG and TikTok at HighBoyLA. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Sorry for the drill noises in the background. See you next time. Bye. You don't like me talking to the camera? You don't understand it. Oh my God. Oh. What do we do about this?